The sum of the first 49 terms of an arithmetic sequence is minus 1,372. The 35th term is minus 58. Find the least value of n such that the sum is just less than 0. So we've got that the sum of the first 49 terms is minus 1,372. The 35th term is minus 58. What we don't know is the first term or the common difference, and when we've got that, we can find the value of n such that the sum is just less than 0. So we need to set up simultaneous equations because we've got two unknown. So we use that Sn is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d, and that un is a plus n minus 1 times d. So using minus 1,372, so we're using the sum 1 in this formula first, is equal to 49 over 2, because we knew this is the 49th, uh, the sum of the 49, first 49 terms. 2 times a, a I don't know, plus 49 minus 1 times d. Times by 2, we're going to get 49 times 2a plus 48d minus 2,000 and 2,744. Now 49 actually goes into this number conveniently. So we're going to divide both sides by 49 and end up that 2a plus 48d is equal to minus 56. Now because all these numbers are even, I can divide by 2. We're going to have a plus 24d is equal to minus 28. We'll call that equation 1. Now, using that the 35th term is equal to minus 58, so using this formula now, minus 58 is equal to a plus 35 minus 1 times d. So that comes down to a plus 35 minus 1 is 34d is equal to minus 58. We'll call that equation 2. So we'll solve them by doing 1 take away 2. A take away A is nothing. 24D minus 34D gives me minus 10D. And minus 28 minus minus 58, so be careful here, is equal to 30. Just repeat that. Minus 28 minus minus 58 is going to be minus 28 plus 58, which is 30. Dividing by minus 10, we get that D is minus 3. Substitute into equation 1 to try to find a. So a plus 24 times my value of d minus 3 is equal to minus 28. a minus, minus 3 times 24 is minus 72 is equal to minus 28. Divide, uh, add 72 to both sides, we're going to get that a is equal to 44. We should just check that in 2 that it works out. So using a is... 44 and d is minus 3, we're going to have that 44 plus 34 times minus 3 is equal to 44 minus 34 times minus 3 is minus 102, which gives me uh, minus 58, which is what I wanted, so that agrees. So I know that the first term is 44 and the common difference is minus 3. So we want a is 44, d is minus 3. And we require that n, the least value of n, such that Sn is less than 0. Using the sum formula, Sn, n over 2, brackets 2a, plus 2n minus 1 times d. We get n over 2 is 2 times 44, plus n minus 1, times the common difference minus 3, is less than 0. So we've got n over 2, 2 times 44 is 88, minus 3n, expanding the bracket, plus... 3 is less than 0, so we're going to have n over 2, 80, 88 plus 3 is 91, minus 3n is less than 0. So we've got two critical values in this inequality. One critical value is going to be n, n is 0, this one here, and the other one will be n is equal to 91 over 3, which is what makes that bracket 0, which is 30 and a third. Well, n is equal to zero is just not possible because you won't have an arithmetic sequence and therefore we want integer values so so the first integer value such that n sn is less than zero is going to be 31 so 31 terms are needed for the sum to become negative this is what we're asking here okay i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching